Oa, uh, you know I wanna go Oa uh, to Goa. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex and it's of Corbin. I'm Trig. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you for listening to Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, account, ring the bell, follow the middle gauge squad. Bang! Hey, hold up your cup. What, they're both cups? I'm confused. Uh, and uh, follow they're us primary on primary colors. Oh my god. Follow us on our own personal YouTube channels, uh, so you won't see dumb comments like that from Rick on mine. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> They're one's blue and one's red. That's not similar. You can't just say. But they're solid. They're solid primary colors. They don't have designs on them. They're. Oh, yours is worse. Anyway, you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Today we erected to a tourism. It says Goa tourism film because it's a little long. Uh, but this is the Goa tourism video. We've heard a lot about Goa, obviously, right, Rick? You've you've heard about Goa. A lot, and we have a film we still haven't seen that everybody recommended of Go a Go a Gone. That's true, uh, but I believe that's not really a like a no. look how pretty Goa is. It's like look at how it's funny Sai Fai Khan is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let us know if we should watch that one. Yeah, to figure out about Goa. Uh, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is just a tourist film about Goa. We've heard Goa is like the the you know the Hawaii basically of India in terms of just like. It's tropical. The beaches are great. That's where right. it's a, one of the biggest tourism places in India uh, for yeah. people to go and uh, relax and chill. So, are right, you ready? I'm ready, sir. Let's go to Goa. Three, two, one. Already gorgeous, and thanks for showing me the beach. How much? Oh, 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 oh. dang! Wow. I want to go to that beach. Go that's secluded. Up. Everyone talks about the awesome beaches here, but let me also tell you what I saw beyond its beaches in India's holiday capital. Excuse me. Goa. <laughs> what can I say that hasn't been said about Goa's beaches? I don't know anywhere else in the world where you can find excitement like this. Miami. Miami doesn't have those kind of forests. Oh, I, I could spend hours so just letting go. Oh, I, love I the adore ocean. the ocean. So <laughs> imagine how thrilled I was to take a closer look. Yeah, scuba diving. To explore the beautiful fish and coral underwater. Yeah. You ever been scuba diving? I've never I've snorkeled, but I've never scuba dived. And to soak in the sun with the cool waves at my feet and the blue sky above. It was serenity at its best. Beautiful. I would have never guessed that Goa had lush greens like these. Yeah. Remember how you commented on when Presti were with the greenery when we were in India? Walking through the forest and listening to its soundtrack was easily one of my favorite parts of my trip. Oh, yeah, that's what I want to be. Oh, look at that. I don't know how, but that beautiful, long, winding trail helped me lose myself and find myself at the oh, same yeah. time. It made me wonder what else Goa had waiting for me. Oh, my God. Wow. And 
there sure was a lot more waiting. I finally got to experience a hot air balloon ride and made a few cute little friends along the way. Churches and temples of Goa are really a sight to behold. Each one is bigger and more beautiful than the last. If you're looking for inner peace, this is where you'll find it. Wow. And if you're a shopaholic like me, yeah. then you'll be spoiled for choice. I want to go to a local market. No, uh, we didn't get to yeah. do that. I wouldn't know where to start on the food. It's absolutely divine. Mm. Goans love their football, and I love watching them play just as much. With each setting sun, the holiday capital was working its charm on me. If I were to make a list of things to do in Goa, it would take me days. Because no matter how much you explore, there's always more to see. There's a surprise hidden in every corner. The architecture, the culture, the people. <laughs> I quickly learned to always carry my camera with me, even on a quick walk around the block. You never know what you might miss. There's a lot of segments of this that look like Cape Town. Getting to know a little Cape about Goa yeah, every day was wonderful. Double-decker. But the nights, that's when it comes alive. Gambling. I felt super lucky to be in Goa. I thought I'd really rest my life even further right. at one of them yeah, many casinos. Nobody smoking in a casino? I find that hard to believe. That is the dream though. You go to a casino and nobody's smoking? Huh. It's never never seen that. Casino smells so bad. Boy do Goins know how to celebrate. And I fit right in. From boat Social parties distancing. to clubs and folk dancing. <laughs> The amazing nightlife kept me out and about every night. Oh, especially don't go on cruise ships right now. <laughs> you didn't watch? She said, especially don't go on cruise ships right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad idea. If you're into a different kind of wild, Goa has that too. You can become one with the outdoors and see things you've never seen before. One of my trip's most memorable moments was the wildlife sanctuary. A few friends and I woke up early and headed to the perfect spot to catch a glimpse of something majestic. We were lucky enough to get a quick picture too.
Oh. You better drive fast. You ain't got no cover on that car. <laughs> the Spice Plantation is one of the most fascinating out of all of Goa's hidden gems. We were greeted like royalty and treated to a wonderful tour of the place. Look at that white girl about to get a sunburn. Oh yeah. <laughs> the aromas, the atmosphere, the colors. It was like heaven to my senses. At the end of my week in the holiday capital, I'd fallen in love. In love with the forever happy people I'd met there. Opa! We're in Greece. Like, like, like six flags or something. Dariachi, sundar la ra, asri hi mokamala. I was in love with the soothing breeze that swept through the trees. I'd fallen for the stories that emanated from the walls of Goa's countless forts. And of course, for the sea, the sunset, and all the magic beyond. By the end, I was left feeling bittersweet. I didn't want to leave, but I knew I'd be back. Back to hear even more stories. my ocean. And for the most that stunning beach beaches I've ever seen. That little night and day. Tom Cruise's little island. And all the crazy friends I'd made. Bunch of white people. what Goa does. It finds its way into everyone's heart. Party girl. Because there's truly something for everyone. No wonder they call it the holiday capital. Goa. See more? Be more. Well, it looks as beautiful as uh, as advertised. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, it's for all of you stupid babies who hung out for the duration. Kudos to you because it's for a tourism video doesn't need to be this long unless what you're <laughs> doing is you're a travel agent and you know someone's interested in going to India and you want to pitch going to Goa. That's the kind of thing you would send this to someone like that. But for like the average person getting a feel for a tourism video, this is. This is too long. Yeah. <laughs> it's a but little it's, long. It's beautiful. Go yeah. is beautiful. Uh, and that'll probably be where, uh, our next visit whenever that is. Obviously, we have zero idea because we're yep. we're locked. <laughs> we're locked here in America, and it's not even because of us. It's because nobody wants us right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, because we'll probably start in Mumbai again. 
and then we'll go south. And this south. is right under Mumbai. Uh, and so it'll yep. probably go here and then Karnataka and then and then go farther south, Tamil Nadu, all those places. Um, we'll go to the south of uh, India. But it looks so beautiful. I'd love to go to those forests. I love forests. Forests are some of my oh, wow. favorite. Big streams running through it. Uh, oceans. I've been to so many beautiful oceans uh in my life because my dad works in coast guard so everywhere he was stationed it was it was some beautiful beach somewhere because that's you know his job is the ocean yeah, that's where uh, the coast guard goes yeah yeah uh so uh, i i love beaches scuba diving and all that kind of stuff i wonder what the locals do because it seems like it's a tourist heavy state yeah uh and obviously the people from goa like, do you do all the normal stuff? Or obviously, I'm sure you don't uh, there because like it's everywhere, you know, wherever you are, you know where the tourists go and you basically don't want to go there because it's just too many people. Right. And it's it's not cool anymore because all the tourists are there. And so that's yeah. those are the places I like to find. It's like New Yorkers do not go to Times Square on New Year's Eve. You're not going to find them there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everybody else is there. The New Yorkers are like, uh-uh, I'm not going to go do that. I'm going to watch that from home, stay nice and toasty, fall drops, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was awesome. A little long, but awesome. Beautiful. Goa. Yeah, very beautiful. I mean, I don't think we needed to tell you that you're beautiful. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, but you let that. us know what other states, because uh, we would love to get to all, what, uh, I think there's like 29 and then, what, eight or nine territories? So there's 30. I believe you're, you're, you're close. Close enough for hand grenades. Eight states and territories altogether, I believe. I could be wrong. It changes sometimes. And only a, a few hundred languages, so that's a pretty easy thing to tackle. Just a few.